And with a bit of luck, we'll have the lovely Nick Wishner, the Managing Director of the Guildford Fringe Theatre Company on the line. I'm here. Hello. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Technology works. Brilliant. It's amazing. Thank Abs- you for having me. Absolutely. You're very, very welcome. So, Nick, tell me all about Cinder's The Adult Panto. Well, I've just come out of the rehearsal room now, and it's definitely Christmas time because it's absolutely freezing out here. But um, it is going so, so well. The cast are in there doing a, a, their first ever run-through, um, and it's, they've just finished Act 2, so it, it looks fabulous. It's um, Cinder's The Adult Panto. Um, it's uh, the same tale of Cinderella, uh, as, as you know it, but with um, an adult twist. So it's uh, just a little bit naughty. Ooh, a little bit naughty. That sounds interesting. <laughs> it's not. Um, it's not rude. But I'm, uh, it's naughty. That's I need to get that point across. It's not a, a rude pantomime. It's a funny adult pantomime. That's, I believe it's written by um, Chris Towndrow. Chris Towndrow, who runs London Corporate Media, um, a video production company. Um, he sent me the script about six months ago, um, saying, "I'm a new playwright. Would you read this and tell me what you think?" And I read it. I was laughing out loud, and I immediately thought, "This is perfect for Guildford Fringe. We we, we produce different." theatre um, in unconventional spaces and it completely fits in the back of a pub. It's a really brilliant piece of theatre and I, I'm very proud to be the first people to produce it professionally. That's brilliant. I mean, actually, has Chris written anything before? Is this his sort of... You know, he's written, he's got a couple of plays um, on uh, Kindle um, or, or Amazon. I'm not very technically minded. I don't know which, which word is right, but you can buy them on, uh, on your Kindle and he's written a couple of short stories. Um, but this is his... Um, uh, big first panto, yeah. Which is brilliant, actually. I mean, it's not everybody that can write a pantomime, is it? I would have it thought. It's absolutely brilliant. And it's so nice to find a local guy who's one, just a, a bloody nice chap, and secondly, he, he's incredibly talented. He's a, he's a pleasure to work with, um, and it just so happens that he also writes a really good script. Very, very funny. That's lovely, and I believe it's directed by Emma Tro. That's correct, yeah. Emma teaches at all the the big number one drama schools. Um, she's a, a Guildford lady, um, really lovely, very, very talented and creative. She's directing it and she's also a musical director, so she's wearing uh, two hats um, and, and absolutely pleasure to have her on board. She's really running the rehearsal room incredibly well. Lovely, and choreographed by Nicola Lakin. That's it, yes. Nicola is um, a dancer herself and she's just kind of breaking into the choreographing world. Um, and she has done a brilliant job um, in very little time. And the thing, we, we try and keep costs down, so that includes keeping rehearsal time down. So um, the work they've done in such a short amount of time is incredible. It's just been an absolute pleasure to watch. And Nicola is very, very talented. And it's just, it, it's just felt like a really nice family uh, atmosphere, and everyone's getting on so well and having a really good, fun time, which is what it's all about. I'll ask you about that uh, at the end of the whole week. <laughs> <laughs> See yeah, how you get. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine. So tell me, when does it start? We open on the 12th of December. That's our press night, which is sold out. And then we run through to the 21st of December. Um, there are very limited tickets available, which is um, just a fantastic position to be in before we even open. But um, I would say if you want to come along and see this brilliant cast, get in quick. And how many seats do you have? And the way we get sure. space. It's, it's a limited number, so we're getting in around 55, 60 now. And right. I've had, at our first production, two productions, we had 80 people in there, but we're using the room differently now, um, so there's less space for seats, um, more room for stage, because there's eight people in the show. It's our biggest production to date, so I need more space for the actors. So you're 55, 60, and um, five of the nights are already sold out. That's brilliant. And mm. just tell me a little bit about Guildford Fringe. I know we've had you on before, but people that haven't heard you speaking before, you, you had the Guildford Fringe Festival for the first time this year. Yeah, absolutely. That was um, during July. Um, the whole month of July, we had about 40 events going on throughout the month. It was just one venue. Next year, we've started planning. Um, I've already got the first week of July booked up with um, shows. Uh, I think we've got th- three theatre productions in the th- first week and, and a stand-up c- comedian. Um, it's, it's an open access arts festival. Um, anything amateur theatre, amateur um, comedians to the top top professional people. And next year we're going to be looking at using between three and five venues. Not for the whole month. We'll use the back room of the star for the whole month because it's our home. Yes. And then we'll kind of pop up around Guildford in other venues throughout the month as well. That's brilliant. Well, there are lots of different spaces around Guildford that can be used, I'm sure. Oh, my word, there's absolutely loads. And, and they've all got so much character um, I mean, there's already loads of theatre groups using different spaces that, that aren't theatres in Guildford, and we're kind of just kind of uh, kind of want to grow that. Um, we're using we've got a cabaret on tonight. We've got the Blue Moon Review, which is a burlesque comedy variety cabaret, and we're using the um, Bar des Arts, which is opposite the Evenino oh, Theatre. Oh yes, I know. Space. 
Yeah, it's brilliant there. It's really good. Is it good to do a good cocktail too? Yes, <laughs> that is true. I've had one there myself, I have to confess. <laughs> one or two. <laughs> Lovely, lovely. It's so refreshing to find something. I mean, there always seems to be something new going on in Guildford, it has to be said. Mm. But uh, somebody like you that's just bringing this vibrance to the area and and something new in theatre, which um, I don't think anybody really expected. So, I mean, what prompted you to set it up in Guildford? What what, what gave me the idea to start up in Guildford? Yes. Um, I'm a Guildford boy, born and bred, um, and I've been touring as an actor for about 12 years now, and I've um, I love acting, but I've kind of had enough of leaving home. I bought my first place, and I was just thinking of ideas of how I could kind of lay roots kind of thing, and I need to form something, and it's, we kind of formed this company. And it, originally, it was just for one show. We did the last five years back in October 2012, and it was originally just going to be that one show. Right. And then it, was just, it just felt good, um, so we just kind sure. of grew it slowly. I grew it with a guy called Neil Bailey to start with, who's now, he's not, he's not involved with Guildford Fringe anymore, but he was um, a, a, an incredible partner to start a company with, and he's gone on to start another production company in London now called Scala, Scala Productions, I believe, or Scala Theatre. Um, so we started together, and he, and he left to do bigger and better things in London, which is very, very admirable, but um, we're carrying on, and it's, it's just going from strength to strength. Which is brilliant. I know lots of people are talking about you all over the place. In fact, almost everybody I bump into goes, oh yeah, Nick Wishner. <laughs> so your name is getting There's around the about. I mean, the team I've got, we've got a really uh, small but very, very um, active committee in Guildford Fringe. Chris Townsend is one of them. And we've got, and we're just blessed with people like Emma, the director, and Nicola, the choreographer, they're wanting to work with us. It's just like, it, I, I do get a bit... Um, I can't think about it too much because it blows my mind a bit that these people want to work with us. And I think really um, Best of Guildford are big supporters of yours as well, aren't oh, they? Oh, Best of Guildford have been incredible. Um, they're one of our main sponsors. Um, they sponsored the Night of the Panto. They've, um, oh, they've, I can't even list the things they've done. They've been incredible. Sally and Paul. They're, they, yeah, Tom they're Hansel, lovely. They're brilliant. Very good, very good. Well, well so, you know, we've got another um, 11 sponsors that have sponsored the Knights of the Panther as well. So, I mean, local businesses have been very, very supportive. Yeah, which is brilliant. That's really, really good. And uh, I'm hoping that there's still one seat left there somewhere. I must try and get along this time. I missed okay, it. Okay, let me know you want to come. We'll it out. Don't you worry. Yeah, yeah. We no, need to get you along. I definitely, definitely want to come along. Definitely. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Sounds completely amazing. Well, I'd better let you get back to rehearsals. And uh, I hope it goes really well and uh, break a leg, as they say in the industry. Thank you so much. And I'll be keeping my fingers crossed for you, but it already sounds like you've almost sold out anyway. So what more can we say? I mean, it sounds like it's going to be amazing. Quick. I, I, I don't want as many people to see it as possible. I'm really proud of this cast. So, yeah, getting quicker. You can buy tickets from our website, guildfordfringe.com, or the Tourist Information Centre in Guildford on the High Street. Brilliant. Okay, Nick Wishner, Managing Director of the Guildford Fringe Theatre Company. I wish you the best of luck and thank you very much for joining me on Brooklyn's Radio. Thank you so much for your support. We really appreciate it. You're very welcome.